Glinda is lying to everyone. One of the most prominent characters in the Wicked movie is undoubtedly Glinda, the so-called Good Witch who narrated the story of the Wicked Witch of the West. However, behind her apparent heavenly face hides a skillful strategist, ready to subdue whoever is necessary to achieve her goals. A character with a hidden identity who used everyone around her to climb to the top of her society, perhaps in an attempt to become the heir of the Wizard of Oz. The story of Wicked is not just a children's musical. It is a deep plot about manipulation and propaganda in a forgotten land, of how friendship can be exploited and manipulation can blind people from seeing the real villains in the story. In this video, we will be talking about Glinda and her big lie. Because behind every song, there is not only a fantasy story in a place far away from Kansas. What we really find is a strategy of manipulation, a tactic that curiously resembles very much the social control we know in our reality. Through songs, collective manipulations, fantasy illusions and supposed miracles, manufactured through scientific experiments that seek just as in the Emerald City, to make people give up their will for a desire of their heart. Do you really want to know what this movie is about? And for more videos about your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. Before starting this video, I invite you to participate in the new giveaway we will be having in this channel where we will be giving away the first volume of Scarlet Witch by Steve Orlando, a story that will mark the future of the Marvel Universe. To participate, all you have to do is comment which is your favorite moment of the Marvel Universe. The winner will be announced on November 30th. The story of Glinda the Good begins in Shiz, a college created by the Wizard of Oz to find wizards who can help him in his mission. Or at least, that's what he said at the beginning. My theory with this college is that it is a place where the wizard's experiments would go to be tested. The Wizard of Oz is considered almost a deity in this world. And it is believed that he can fulfill the heart's desire of every person who earns his favor. So many go out of their way in an attempt to please the Wizard of Oz. Part of this is to comply with the college system to which the future assistants of the Wizard of Oz have been assigned. When we start watching the movie, we think that everyone in this place is a magician, or perhaps has the potential to be one. But the reality is that little by little we begin to discover that behind the appearance of magic that exists here, there is the influence of a scientist who is trying to make real the lie that has begun long ago. Even teachers who appear to show supernatural abilities end up lying to the students when Elphaba manifests her ability. But to understand how Glinda is lying, we must go back to the beginning. The story of Wicked begins with Glinda arriving in this town, telling the townspeople that the Green Witch is dead, as she sings and celebrates that peace has finally reigned. However, as we move further into the film, we realize that sometimes the story is not what it seems. From the first moment, Glinda showed herself to be a superficial person who never showed herself as she really was. Glinda took advantage of every situation to better position herself socially or take advantage of others who loved her. Glinda never demonstrated supernatural abilities. It seems that in the whole movie, the only person with any real abilities was Elphaba. Something we explained in our previous video. Well, if you don't know, Elphaba is the result of an experiment by the Wizard of Oz, who tried to create a human with magic, perhaps to then take her powers and turn a lie into a truth. And what's the lie? That he is a wizard. The Wizard of Oz is a human who was trapped in this world after arriving in a hot air balloon and who has created a false illusion to manipulate the people of this place. Using magic tricks and his great intellect, the Wizard of Oz turned the Emerald City into a kind of fantasy bubble, where everyone believed they would get their wish if they obeyed his orders. In reality, we could describe him as a kind of dictator and mad scientist, trying to transform the world of Oz into something more like the real world. But we'll get to that topic in its own video. The point here is that when Glinda arrives in Emerald City, she does so on a platform accompanied by a bubble, 
appearing to have magical abilities. However, upon reflection and retrospect, we know that that platform was a mechanical device designed by the wizard. This, combined with Elphaba's story, leads us to understand that Glinda is a collaborator with the regime of the Wizard of Oz. It appears that Glinda is continuing the same type of manipulation that the Wizard of Oz initiated. Just as the wizard made people believe he possessed supernatural powers, Glinda perpetuates this illusion with her bubble. This is where the story begins to take a disturbing turn. The bubble that Glinda rides in the film symbolizes the bubble that the Emerald City itself is in. A bubble of lies. In this city, we can begin to notice certain traits that could be described as sectarian. The Wizard of Oz acts as a dictator, pretending to perform miracles to maintain his control, and his followers perpetuate this lie. It is no coincidence that the Matrix movie makes so many references to the world of Oz and Dorothy. The themes of manipulation and population control have been present since the first Wizard of Oz movie. But in Wicked, the lies of Glinda and the wizard are directly exposed, not just indirectly, but as the cause of the bubble of lies in this universe. Just as Neo in the Matrix didn't know if the world he lived in was real or a simulation, Glinda is forced to create a lie for the Emerald City. Through song and dance, she tries to divert attention from the manipulations of the Wizard of Oz, maintaining the illusion of perfect order. Every song of Glinda's conceals an attempt to persuade not only the people around her to feed her own ego, but also to expand the social control that the Wizard of Oz instituted long ago. However, it is possible that Glinda views her actions as pragmatic, believing them to be necessary to preserve the stability of the world of Oz. But as I mentioned in a previous video, I believe there is a limit for Glinda, and that limit is Elphaba, or the experiment the Wizard of Oz subjected her to. When Glinda discovers that the Wizard of Oz was the one who created the green elixir that Elphaba's mother used to get pregnant, and that it was the wizard's fault that Elphaba was born with green skin, she will realize that this man cannot stay in power, and that he is willing to do whatever it takes to gain powers. This will be the moment when Glinda understands the gravity of the wizard's actions, especially when she discovers that his ultimate goal was to steal Elphaba's powers to turn his lie into a truth. In an upcoming film, it is likely that we will see a confrontation between Glinda and the Wizard of Oz. However, this will not be a magical showdown. It will be one where Glinda uses the same technology as the Wizard of Oz against him. However, if Glinda confronts the Wizard of Oz and ends up banishing him to a new place, there is a chance that she could become the queen of this world. Perhaps in the end, the excess of power could transform her into something even worse than the Wizard of Oz himself. This leads us to think about the true meaning of truth and who is really the good or the bad guy in this story, a theme we will continue to explore in the next film. In my opinion, if Glinda defeats the Wizard of Oz, there is a chance that he will end up being even worse, and we will see this confrontation in the next film. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Do you think Glinda will really face the Wizard of Oz? Do you think she could become worse than him? Or is there still hope for Glinda? And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Oasis Geek.